Uncut Gems, guys. This is one of the most talked about films of the year. If you like movies, a lot of people are talking about this. Good Time is directed by the Safdie brothers. They are the filmmakers behind Good Time and Uncut Gems. And with Uncut Gems, we see that Adam Sandler is starring as a jeweler named Howard Ratner. Howard is making all these crazy deals. He's always ahead of himself. He's always doing things that can endanger himself and endanger his family, but he still does them because he likes to be betting. He likes to do these risks. That's the character. Now, aside from all that, this is a really frenetically paced film. It reminds me of a scene in the movie Punch Drunk Love where Adam Sandler's character is at work and he's bombarded by phone calls, messages from his sister, and noisy interruptions. It's an anxiety-inducing movie. However, this is more thrilling. It's more drenched in that crime genre than any other film Adam Sandler has done before. Punch Drunk Love was an experiment because it allowed him to work in the field of drama, and you really got to see where Adam Sandler was going with that. Here, you see that he's completely in another park of his own. This is really a character that would be similar to most Adam Sandler characters, but it just happens to be a criminal. I could really easily see him playing this. There was a lot of talk about him not getting an Oscar nomination. People were pissed. But that isn't that surprising. It's just that his character is so well made for him and he really brings such a life to it that it feels so natural compared to the comedies he makes all the time. So Uncut Gems is really a step in the right direction for him. It's not by any means the Safdie brothers' best work or their grand opus they've done. They have plenty more to come, and I bet they all will be great. But uh, they've done movies like Daddy Long Legs and The Pleasure of Being Robbed, and all these movies are really impressive, and Uncut Gems just shows how they can take actors, bring them into real-life environments, and make them stand out.